Wanna move my feet Wanna drop my one 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 Delivery. What's good, y'all? We just got back from the Specialty Coffee Association's Global Specialty Coffee Expo. It's in a different place every year. This year, it was in Boston. You got a trade show, you got the opportunity to go to some lectures, there's some coursework you can take. I've made videos on my expo experience before, but in this one, I kind of want to unpack what expo means to me, why we even decided to go, and what I think I got out of it this year that I hadn't in years prior. Now, to be completely honest, for myself, I'm not actually sure why I wanted to go this year. This has just turned into one of those things that you do every year. I've gone to every show for probably the past decade, and it's kind of part of my personality. And Jared and I were on the train, we were going into the into the city one day and having this conversation like, why, why are we here? What, what's happening? Yo, Cat Cloud, you know what it is. 2016, we're back at it again, straight in. Steam flush, you know what we do. This is it. Baca, Truby, J. True Baca. <laughs> we kind of had this little decompression talk after the first day about do we want to come to this in the future? Is there somewhere else that our time is better spent? Now, this was the first day we were there. Expo wasn't open yet, and there weren't a ton of people there. We popped in, looked at the competition really quickly and kind of bounced. Now, when we went back for the next few days in a row when Expo was open and a ton of people were there, it became incredibly clear what the value of going to this was for us. The first thing is good energy. And I think this is something that anybody who goes to Expo can resonate with, regardless of what you think of the level of education, regardless of what you think of how awesome the lectures are or not, one thing that most people wouldn't argue is that being able to connect with a bunch of people who are in the same industry that you never get to see on a day-to-day -day basis is a pretty powerful thing. With the bulk of most people's communication taking place online, the ability to connect with people face-to-face -face in real life has become increasingly rare. So to be around hundreds of people in the same industry as you, it feels really energizing. It's good energy. With things like the podcast and these videos here, the amount of positive feedback Back we got out of that was just, I can't thank, I can't thank everybody enough. Some of these things mean so much more to you out there than I ever could have hoped. And that made myself personally and our whole crew feel really, really good. So if I ran into you and you had kind things to say, Thank you so much. It means so much more to me than I could than I could express in the moment, and it really ah, hit me there. With Cat and Cloud, we tried to bat a little outside the box of what normal businesses are and create a different employee experience, and to see that that's resonating with people and also inspiring other people to do the same meant a lot to myself and it meant a lot to our crew. I would rate today's expo experience thus far a solid eight and a half out of 10, much better than yesterday. Yesterday, I felt like shit. Today, I feel like I'm shining. We had a pretty big squad. In addition to myself and Jared, we had Alex, Mark, Carol, and Lucas. We bring our staff members to all the stuff that we go to. And for some of the people, it was their first expo. Since we're in Santa Cruz, a lot of people's experience with the coffee community is strictly through the lens of Cat and Cloud. So to get some of those people whose only coffee experience is with us to engage with the outside community was really amazing for them. And I was, I was so proud seeing them interact with other people and so proud seeing how they held our mission, vision, values and brought that to Expo with them. And they were perfect representatives of our company and to our whole crew, dude, thank you. 
Thank you. The second thing that made this trip really special to me was the connection that we had with our wholesale partners. We spent a lot of time with the Highbrow crew and a lot of time with the G and G crew. And the way Alex and Mark have crafted our wholesale program, it's turned into something that, I mean, we call it a partner program and not a wholesale program. And it almost feels more like a family program. I've worked in wholesale for several different places at really high levels. I was a head of business development for a large coffee roasting company. And I've, I've never been part of a partner program that feels like this, that feels just so authentic, that feels like we're supposed to be together and we really enjoy spending time together on a deep, deep level. And Alex and Mark have spent a lot of time really trying to figure out how they can make other people's businesses better, not just sell people really awesome coffee or not just provide people with really awesome branding, but let's dig into what challenges you have, what's, you know, what are your pain points and let's work together to get through those. I got some rudiments. Really all I can think about is the smell of the trash that I'm standing on that's stuck to my feet. I try to stay away from making big ridiculous claims, but I don't think anybody's doing a wholesale partner program on the same level that Alex and Mark are executing ours at Cat and Cloud. And that's, I'm throwing it out there. Hey, Can I step yeah. right here? Uh, oh, Another type of connection that going to Expo brought me was a deeper level of connection with some of our employees that came. Being able to engage with our employees under a different set of circumstances in a slightly different social situation, I think can really deepen the relationship between a manager and an employee or an owner and an employee in a way that connecting in town just will never be able to. It's a tricky thing to balance and it's certainly not an anything goes kind of situation, but there's, there's this ability to kind of stretch the social fabric when you're out of town having an experience together. Things are a little bit more loose. I felt a little bit more like myself, able to have more casual conversations with that little bit less of that, that guarded feel that sometimes comes with being a manager or being a boss. I've got really close relationships with Alex and Caroline because I work with them the most and I've known Mark for a number of years. So the person I really got to know on this trip was Lucas and he's been working with us for quite some time, but because of where we work in the company, I don't get to spend a ton of one-on-one -on -one time. So to go out, have some dinner with him, have some drinks, have some really deep conversations, I get to figure out more about what he's about, where his motivations lie, what his dreams for the future are. And that brought me to another level of connectivity with him that I probably wouldn't have gotten or would have taken much longer to get to in the context of the cafe. <laughs> One, two, three, and oh, Lucas! Hey! Lucas oh, it sucks oh, bullshit! No, 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 I hard to beat you! Some of the more cerebral stuff that happened at Expo for me was kind of rethinking where I fit in in terms of the coffee industry, a lot of people that go there are baristas or roasters. And I don't, I don't think I fit into any of those categories quite neatly because I think you are what you do. And so sure, while I have a barista skill set, I don't work bar every day. That's not my existence. I have the skill set to roast. I did a ton of it when we opened. I don't really do it anymore. That's not my existence. And a lot of my identity was wrapped up in those things for a while. And now looking at Expo through the lens of someone who I don't even really consider myself a business owner. I, I feel like what my contribution is, is I want to help people optimize whatever they're doing. I want to help people live their truth. If people have these big dreams, big, big, hairy, audacious goals, how can I help someone take that and turn that into reality? Most specifically with people who work on staff, but it was really energizing to get to connect with other people, hear what they, they hear what their dreams are. And I would really love to be a catalyst for that for, for all kinds of people, not just people that I work with. And that's interesting because that doesn't neatly fit into the context of whatever we'd call the coffee industry anywhere in, in a real cut and dry kind of way. Sometimes because of what content seems to be the most popular, what the trends are in specialty at any given time, 
or what's what's getting the most traction. It, it feels to me like coffee people don't care about those things and they only care about making latte art, making espresso, things that are awesome and that I have real passions for too, but that it stops there. But what I found out at Expo was a lot of people are starting to think bigger, think about what does my life look like after coffee or after barista or after roasting? Or if I wanna stay in those roles for a long time, what kind of skills can I stack to make myself more valuable? What am I doing to increase my personal growth to make sure that I'm always learning and constantly trying to better myself? And that, that kind of got me charged up because sometimes I feel like even the stuff I create for this channel, it's like two separate things. There's coffee stuff and then there's personal development stuff or business stuff and there's no crossover, but I think there's a lot of crossover. You've made me feel like there's a lot of crossover. So that's my very not coffee focused Expo wrap. If you went there, I would love to hear what Expo means for you. If you were there and said hello to us, I just wanna thank you again for the positive energy. If you were there with me and on my staff and part of our wholesale partner team, I just wanna say I can't, I can't thank you enough for, for representing what we're doing and just being that fucking beacon of light that I, I wanna latch onto. That shit was tight. Stay dialed, y'all, and I will catch you on the flip side. Peace.